cannabis market actually has a lot of similarities with other industries that are already existing in the market. For example, um, dispensaries could be very similar in a lot of ways to pharmacies. Um, grow houses, you can often look at uh, greenhouses or, or things like that. The, the edibles market is very related to bakeries. California is a huge market and to, you know, quote Alan St. Pierre of Normal, you know, I mean, he says for us to get to the world stage, you have to go through California. And California really is the market. So California coming into the cannabis market on a recreational level is going to be a bit of a game changer for the industry in the long term. It is going to provide billions of extra dollars of revenue, tax revenue, um, and insurance premium to carriers. So I think that you're going to get a lot more carrier interest because of the sheer volume of people that will be buying insurance. With the current space, you know, here we are in 2017, it's about $2 billion. You're going to be looking at about uh, $7 billion of uh, retail sales potentially by 2020. So uh, it's going to be a massive market. It's the largest market. I think California is the seventh largest economy in the world, and it's going to be the number one cannabis uh, economy for sure. I expect to see maybe a groundswell, if you will, or more states coming on board, especially in the southeast. In the southeast, you tend to have a little bit more conservative leadership, and the medical part is just starting. Georgia just approved it. I expect Alabama to do it soon, and Mississippi. Uh, then after that, I expect to see more of the recreational come, come to fruition. But they're going to take a little baby steps. I'm a consultant for RT Specialty, and my responsibility is to continue to bring business in from all of the, the associations and to add other organizations. For example, I was asked by the, the National uh, uh, Cannabis Industry to come in and see if I could relate to them what they might occur uh, as they go forward. And strangely, the reality is that what they're going through now was exactly what I was in in 1996. It was a terrible mess. And we had to straighten that all out and we had to bring people into uh, to um, understand that things must be done exactly right and, and long story short, it was very, very successful.